All right, so I'm back to my squash and I'm gonna do my garden grown yummy squash. I don't know about you guys, but I love squash and my kids love squash, maybe because it gets a little mushy and it's easy to eat and it's flavorful. So I'm gonna do my garden squash. I'm gonna cut it all up. I'm gonna put it in a pan. Matter of fact, let's get the pan so I'm ready to cut it up. Put it in a pan. I'm going to season it with salt and pepper, very simple, some butter, some olive oil, some thyme, and I'm gonna use some lemon zest to give it that kick with some lemon juice. It's gonna be yummy. That's baby Baba Baliba in the background. She loves squash. You gotta cook with your family around. That's what I'm teaching you, how to cook for your family and getting them involved. Usually my kids are up here cooking with me, but Sometimes they're out playing with their friends. It depends. Let's cut our squash up and get it ready to put in the pot. But I was just saying, my kids, usually they like to come in and cook. When it's just them and I cooking, they love cooking. But they have friends over now. It's a hot summer day in L.A. They're out in the pool. They're in the backyard trying to find bugs and reptiles. I think they caught a lizard today. But what happens is they get to keep it for the day and then they have to turn it back out into the wilderness at the end of the day. So okay, I have my squash here. Now I'm gonna put some lemon thyme on it. Just simple, you just put, add it to your meal. And you see I use this a lot, it's a staple. So the thing about herbs, which I love growing them in pots around my pool sometimes, but now I have a little garden that I came up with that I uh, made. But if you have them, you're not wasting it. It saves you money. Because you know how we go to the store and we buy all these herbs and then you don't use them in time and they get all mushy and yucky. You know what I'm saying? So if you have them in your garden, then they're ready to go. So I personally love it like this. Okay, lemon zest. We're gonna put a little bit of lemon zest, not much, a pinch. Okay. We're going to put some olive oil on top, just a tad, tad, tad bit. Some lemon juice. Not much. A little to your taste. Hey, I got the teriyaki sauce here. Might as well put that in too. You got to improvise sometimes. Make up stuff. That's how you come up with your own recipes. I'm going to take this, put it on the oven. This is going to take about 15, 20 minutes. Not long. Not even 15, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna put a little butter on there. Butter gives it that added, I don't know. You know butter, butter is so good. I don't even know what to say about it. I love olive oil, but there's nothing like a little bit of butter to give it that extra yummy kick. And there's your squash. Healthy from your garden, simple. You can't get any more simple than this. Pepper, there you go. What I have already cooking here, which I'll show you, is my brown rice. And my brown rice, instead of using water, I use chicken stock to give the extra kick to it. Just to give it a little bit more flavor. Water sometimes gets a little boring and all that. The chicken stock gives it that chicken stock flavor. So I finished my salmon. Look at this piece of salmon, is that not gorgeous. That salmon is amazing. So let's cut it. I got my brown rice. I put my brown rice in a little bowl. We're going to flip it over. Kind of do it restaurant style like that. I got my squash, my garden squash, which is, look at that, to die for on the side. Mm, smells so good. Let's cut a piece of salmon. Look at that beautiful salmon. The thing about salmon, you have to watch it. You don't want to dry it out. That's why I put olive oil. Now look at that salmon. You see that? It's perfect. It's not dry. It's still moist. Oh, what a great meal. Some onions on top. This is how you get your kids to eat onions. That cancer fighting, yummy, yummy, yummy. I love cooked onions. I don't know about you, but cooked onions are everything. We could put a little parsley for garnish on top. Let's take this fork. 
Let me taste my salmon. I know it's good. This is my specialty. My son just said, I want some after I swim. Over tacos, can you believe that? Mmm, baby. You ain't not getting no better salmon than that. Alley of the Valley, www.alley in the Valley. Bam, there you go. Now this is for guests. My kids, tomorrow I can make eggs with salmon. I can do salmon on top of a salad. There's so many things you can do when you cook healthy. This will stay three to four days in the refrigerator. You could use it for so many different things. So thank you for joining me. Another idea for you and your family. Remember, cooking for the urban soul with love, your family and children in mind, and making sure all the healthy ingredients are there. And from my family to your family, I'm Allie of the Valley. Enjoy.